Ok.
Hello, good evening, my friends. Uh, welcome to another English class. I know it. Uh, it is kind of difficult because of the weather. The rain has been really heavy. And I have seen some pictures, uh, some videos from San Salvador and some other parts, I guess, San Miguel, that they have uh, big problems because of the effects of the rain. I hope you can get home safely without problems, okay? So let's see who do we have here. Evelyn, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Everything okay? Yes. Okay. No problem. Very and the good. rain? Did it affect you? Te afectó la lluvia? Un poco. Okay, a little bit. Un poco. Un poco, un poco. Finally, you are at home, just a hand cast. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. Daniel, hi. Daniel, hello. Creo que no me escucha Gustavo. Hi. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Problems because of the rain? La lluvia? No problem. No problem, teacher. Okay, nice. I know it's some for some of you it has been like really difficult because you have to move from the your workplace to your your house. Okay. So but well, let's see here how Guillermo, uh, Rosalie, Rivas, Katia, John and Susie. Okay, um, I hope that the rest of participants can uh, can connect to the class. So uh, we're going to have vocabulary practice for uh, tonight. So let's see, I don't know, if Rosalia, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, at home, with no problems. Yes, Jen Casa. Sí, yes, teacher, at okay. home. Perfect. Okay, I'd like to hear that. Thank you. What about Rivas? Hi. Maybe Rivas is not available. Katia? Okay, maybe Katia not ready to answer. Uh, Guillermo, I don't know if you are at home, Guillermo. Or yes, mom. teacher. Yes, find it at home. Okay, thank you. Nice. I know that uh, there are some participants that are not here, but yeah, anyway, we're going to start. So I needed to do something. What was your main pastime when you were a teenager? We're going to write. Vamos a escribir el pasatiempo más el más común o el pasatiempo principal your main pastime when you were a teenager cuando cuando eran adolescentes because now you are adults ya son adultos you are not teenagers so you can say for example play basketball that was my my, my favorite pastime when i was a teenager so i need you to write here in the chat what was uh, your free time activity or your hobby when you were a teenager? Voy a esperar las respuestas y luego continuamos.
Okay, let's listen. Here we have uh, Guillermo. Okay, play soccer. Nice. How many years did you play soccer? ¿Cuántos años jugaste esto? Like 10 years? Mm -hmm. 15 years playing soccer? More oh. than 10 years. More than 10 years. Nice. Okay. When you were young. Thank you. Rivas play soccer. Okay. I don't know how many years did you play. ¿Cuántos años jugaste? 10 years, teacher. 10 years playing soccer. Guillermo says more than 10 years. Okay. Thank you. Uh, John says, play basketball. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a, a wonderful sport. I love basketball. Uh, Rosalie, listen to music and watch films, okay? And Rosalie, do you remember what was your favorite music when you were a teenager? Because that's, uh, that's different. Yes, mm -hmm. yes teacher. Oh. You remember? <laughs> ah, even, you like the, the same music. I like, I like. Okay. Um, Backstreet Boys. Ah, yes. Spirit, oh, pop, pop was my... <laughs> I remember that 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 uh, period of time. Yeah, Box Boxer Boys were like an NSYNC, yeah. like a versus they were like uh, <laughs> yeah, they had good impact. Britney Spears, uh, Christina Aguilera, yeah. and some old like yes. so, yeah, I remember that. That was a, a good time. We, were good times for music. Thank you, Rosalie. Yes. Okay. Um, Evelyn played soccer how many years? ¿Cuántos años? Yes. Uh, 10 years? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, six. Yeah, nice. Good condition, right? Yeah, you feel like a lot of energy. Yeah, nice. And here we have Gustavo as well. Okay, Gustavo, um, how many years? Uh, I, I don't remember but a long time teacher yeah it is like very common that most of the boys used to play uh, soccer because i play basketball but i also play soccer it's like it's very common here in el salvador that every boy has to play soccer like at least a short period of time thank you daniel oh different ride a bike do you remember how many years did you practice this more or less than eight years. Okay. And what about your bike? What happened to, to, to your uh -huh. bike? I have a two bikes. Two bikes. Oh, nice. Semi, yeah. semi carrera and bike to, como se dice, bueno, es para saltar y todo eso. Ah, ya, como montañesa. Or no, 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 that's different. It is like for skating, como, como la que utilizan para, para, para las rampas y todo eso. Sí, es de esas. Okay, yeah, good one. The style of that, el estilo de esos, es, es bien interesante. Good. Okay, thank you. And Katia says, I have no electricity in my house. I have data, but it, it's here to cut off. Okay, Katia, thank you for telling me. I know it's because of the electricity, you have some difficulties. Okay, and well, remember when we were teenagers? Do you remember? You took bad decisions. You have a lot of dreams, a lot of expectations. And now you are like the result of taking those decisions. Son el resultado de tomar todas las decisiones, buenas o malas. I guess they were good. But anyway, we have more experience. So I'm going to check the attendance list. And for this, here we have the telephone language. Leaving a message with someone. Okay, leaving a message with someone. For example, you are calling a person and that person is not there. So maybe you can have like an answer machine or you can have another person like taking your message. Okay, so you can say, for example, yes, can you tell him his wife called, please? Next. No, that's okay. I'll call back later. Next. Thanks. Could you ask him to call Bella? When she gets in. And next one says, do you have a pen? I don't think she has my number. Next one. Mm, thanks, my number is YZY extension G or extension nine. Okay, nine. Yes. 
it's G for ABC LTD. Um, here, when do you expect her back in the office? So I'm going to call you one by one and please select one of these phrases. They are uh, very common when we want to uh, leave a message. Adi, I don't know if Adi is here. Okay, if not, we go with uh, Christy. Uh, I guess Christy is arriving home, maybe. Okay, if not, Luisa. Okay, maybe Luisa not here. Um, Andre. Hey, hello, good evening. Hello, Luisa. Okay, uh, could you mention one of these um, phrases, please? Luisa, hi. Hola, Tisha, perdón, sorry. Hola, sí. Eh, no. Dime, pero es que me voy conectando, perdón. Ah, ok, ¿puedes ver estas frases? Sí, hay que leerlas. Una, yes, one of these. Una, ok. Eh, yes, can you tell? He is quite cold, please. Ok, that's nice, good one. Ok, um, let's continue now. Let's see who else. Uh, Andre, not here. Maybe we can have Rivas. Okay, Rivas, hi. Present teacher, no, that's okay. I am called back later. Thank you. Good one. Uh, Daniel, you go. I'm here. Yes. Can you tell him his wife? Call it, please. Okay, thank you, David. No, David. Evelyn, okay, your turn. Okay, no thanks, okay, you call back later. Okay, perfect. Guillermo, okay, my friend, hi. Hi, teacher. Um, do you have a pen? I don't think uh, she has my number. Mm -hmm. That's okay. John, I guess John is a listener, right? Right now. Okay, Katia has uh, electricity problems. I don't know if Katia is there. Yes, teacher present. Thank you, Katia. Could you read one of these? Uh, okay. And do you have a pen? I don't think she, she has my number. Perfect. Thank you, Maritza. Present. Okay. Marissa. No, that's okay. I'll call back later. later. I'll, I'll call back later. Thank you. Okay, Gustavo. Hi, DJ. Hello there. Do you have a pen? I don't think she has my number. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, Oscar, Daniel. Okay, maybe not. Uh, Eduardo, I guess Eduardo is not here. Rosalie. Present. Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, Oscar Daniel, si está. Yes, uh, yes, yes, it's in from A, B, C. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, good. Creo que tienen dificultades con la señal, pero ya veremos. Ok, Rosalie, thank you. Now, please, um, tell yes. one of these phrases. Yes. yes, it's Yvonne from ABC LTD here. When do you expect her back in the office? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. Thank you. And if you notice, this is like different, uh, well, these are different forms to leave a message. You are calling someone, but that person is not there. So another person answers, another person uh, replies. So you say one of these. Okay. Let's move. In this case, let me check this. We're going to have a uh, well, practice. Here we have John and Ben. Okay. Teacher. Hola, Christy. Hi. Um, 
yo no puedo ver la pantalla que está compartiendo, me parece en negro, la pantalla estoy conectada desde mi celular porque no tengo la compu ahorita. No sé si me salgo y vuelvo a entrar. A usted sí lo veo y a mis compañeros que están hablando también. Pero okay, lo que... Déjame revisar. Eh, Maritza, ¿tú puedes ver lo que estoy compartiendo? Sí. Bien, creo sí, que puedo es... verlo. Thank you. Creo que es tu señal o tu internet. Eh, Cristi, lo que puedes probar es salir y volver a entrar. Ok, no problem. Ok, eh, tengo, tengo activa, la, activa la, la cámara. Sí, mm -hmm. sí me miro, porque ni yo tampoco me veo. Sí, puedo, puede, puedo verte, pero seguramente okay. es la señal. Y yo creo que eh, por, el, por el tema de lluvia y todo eso, ¿no necesitas con datos o con Wi-Fi? No, estoy con el Wi-Fi de la casa. Mm -hmm. Extraño. Okay. Eh, okay, curiosamente. Voy a, voy a salir y voy a volver a entrar, teacher. Thank you, Christy. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, John and Ben, here we have this. Where, uh, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right. Now it's three for this year, and the cost is thirty dollars per unit. That's great. Okay, I'm going to select. Maybe we can have a screenshot, please. Okay, so let's uh, check this. Uh, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customer. Uh, estuvimos muy ocupados ayer. Uh, tuvimos muchos clientes. Sí, es cierto. Es we did. Tuvimos. Um, creo que necesitamos uh, ubicar uh, nuestro inventario. Si sí, no tenemos suficiente cantidad de car caramelo para chocolate, ¿cuál fue nuestro uh, ¿Cuál fue nuestra rotación de inventario por el caramelo de chocolate? ¿Qué hay sobre el costo? Ahora está a tres para, ahora, ahora ajá, está a tres para este año. Y el costo es de 30 por unidad. That's great. So, uh, maybe we can focus on this word. I know you may think that is chocolate, but it's not. It's chocolate. Cho this O is not pronounced, okay? Chocolate, caramel. Uh, here we have enough. Le, ¿Se recuerdan que les había dicho? Love, tough. Yesterday I told you, les dije que las palabras que terminan con GH se pronuncian como F, okay? So, love, cough, enough, enough, okay? Yeah, that's it. Um, let me check what else. Yeah, then you you already know the pronunciation. This is now. Yeah, ah, and this don't don't forget this busy, como bicicleta busy, que significa ocupado. Okay, let's practice a little bit and then we continue because here we have some equations that. I need you to answer. So, eh, Christy, ahora puede ver lo que estoy compartiendo. No, teacher, siempre me sale en negro la pantalla. Le oh. tomé una captura de pantalla y se me queda como reiniciando. Y de ahí, sí lo veo a usted, a usted sí lo veo. Y a mis compañeros que hablan, pero ahí tengo en negro la pantalla. No sé por qué. Extraño. Uh -huh. eh, ya estoy viendo ahí la configuración, pero no me da opción. Has no intentado sé. buscar actualizaciones. No, me he conectado siempre con la misma cuenta, no, no he actualizado Zoom. 
Ok, tal vez eso puede que necesites, ok. okay Bien. Me sale ahorita que me una a una sala. Sí, una. Pero, sí. Dale uh -huh. aceptar. Ok. Ok, my friends, see you in a moment. Se lo veo en un momento. Vamos a practicar. Ok, Katia, eh, te llegó la solicitud. Yo tengo problemas, no me deja ingresar, creo que es por mi ancho de banda. Es posible, déjame revisar acá. Si no, ya te envío nuevamente la solicitud. Es que le doy ingresar, pero no, no me deja. Oh. Me da, me, se me queda así como cargando y después se me cierra la solicitud. Creo que no, no poder. Bueno, vamos a esperar entonces. Okay.
Okay, my friends, uh, welcome back. You have this conversation. And let's listen to Maritza, maybe, or Christy. I don't know. Maritza, who was your classmate? Yes. Ah, oh, ya le di el clavo. Okay. Nice. Ya pude, ya se, ya se mira su pantalla. No sé qué le Perfect. pasaba a esto, pero ahorita ya se ve. Yes, Christy. I guess uh, maybe it's the connection. I, I don't know why sometimes Zoom fails. Five um, okay. I don't know why. Yeah. But okay, anyway, let's see uh, who starts. John and yeah. Ben. We were very busy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maritza we or Christy? Very... Ah, please, yeah. go. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate, caramel. What was our inventory turnover, turnover for chocolate, caramel? What about the cost? Right now, it's three four this year. And the cost is 30 per unit. That's great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we can have Daniel and company. Who was your classmate, Daniel? My... I guess. Rivas, Rivas. Yeah, Rivas, right? Please. Okay, teacher. We were very busy yesterday. We had a loss of customer. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three for the year and the cost is $30 per unit. That's great. Thank you. Okay, uh, now that we have this vocabulary and related to inventory, related to turnover, and also stock, and we're going to check it in this case. Look at this, here we have cost, inventory, turnover, stock, quantity, inventory, okay? I need you to take a look at this and we're going to answer um, these chart and we have to match the definition okay i'm going to give a couple of seconds and then we do it Okay, just for you to have an idea, here we have cost, costo. Inventory turnover is el volumen de ventas del inventario, okay? Eh, extraño, ¿verdad? Volumen de ventas del, del inventario, inventory turnover. Stock es existencias. Es por eso que cuando ustedes van a comprar algo y no está en el mostrador, a veces pueden decir el vendedor, um, eh, veré si hay en stock. Si hay existencias, ok. Eh, quantity, cantidad, inventory, eh, inventory. Okay. Here we have Guillermo. Are you ready with your answer? Guillermo. Mm, yes. Uh, oh. Number two, stock. Mm -hmm. Number two. Uh, ok. Okay, good. Even we have here I have two options for stock. I know that you say stock and here we have 
part of the key inventory. I know it looks like stock, but even it looks like inventory, but I guess both of them are have like a similar definition. Thank you, Guillermo. Rosalie? Number one, mm -hmm. quantity. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. And we can have John. Okay, John. Three, four, or five. Number four is stock. Okay. In this case, I have inventory turnover. Uh -huh. uh, very strange, right? Okay, and uh, maybe we can have... Um, Three and four, okay. And maybe Daniel? The number three, the price paid get something is cost. Cost, yeah. And the last one, stock. Okay. Let's let, let let's check this. And quantity, yeah. It's a particular amount of anything. Yeah, quantity, a particular amount of anything. Number two, a complete listing of merchandising or stock in hand. I guess maybe it could be inventory. Number three, cost, the price, paid to get something. Number four, inventory turnover. The number of times a company sells its inventory a year. Volumen de ventas. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the number of times the company sells its inventory. El número de veces que la compañía vende su inventario cada año. Remember, when you have an inventory, you have a complete list of products. So, yeah, that could be. And number five, start to get more product in inventory. Could it be. Okay. Let's move now to the question. What do you like to do in your free time? When you were teenager, remember you had more time. Tenías más tiempo when you were adolescent. Definitely you had the time of your life. But now I know you are busy because of your work, because of your studies, because you're learning English, because you have may maybe some other business. Uh, but let's see. What do you think? What do you like to do in your free time? In this case, we're going to start with uh, Rivas and then we go with Rosalie. Okay, Rivas, tell us, my friend. Hey, teacher, the reading and swimming in my free time. Reading and swimming. And for when you go, well, where do you practice swimming? Where? Don't yeah. En, en, en complejo, ¿cómo se dice? Complex. Mm -hmm. en complex. Complex en Santa Tecla. Oh, nice, because there are some sports fields. Hay canchas, ¿verdad? Sports fields, and they, they have swimming pool. Well, you have space in there. And thank you. <laughs> because now you say you like reading, okay? So that's another very important free time activity. Thank you. Uh, Rivas, uh, let's listen to Rosalie and then we go with Daniel. Okay, teacher. Teacher, antes de comenzar, Katy dice que se le acabaron los datos. Okay. Como no hay luz donde ella. Para que Qué no lástima, con Katy. Bueno, ya le puse aquí la asistencia también, ¿verdad? Thank you for telling me. Gracias por comentarme. Um, I, I like to read. <laughs> Um, sleep, <laughs> sleep and watch series. Oh yeah, yeah, sleep definitely. Okay, watch series. Do you have any specific genre? I mean, drum, drama, horror, comedy, romantic, science um, fiction, actions, and drama, drama, K dramas. <laughs> oh okay, yeah, yeah, K dramas um, are very popular. Very yes. popular, and they have a lot of series. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, definitely a good option. Okay, Daniel and then Christy. Okay, Daniel. 
Okay. And really, I don't have time, free time. But in my little free time that I have, I really like to sleep. Okay. I know that maybe you have a very tight schedule. You don't have too much time, right? So the time that you have free is to sleep. I understand you, my friend. Yeah, I'm similar to you. Okay, thank you. We go with Christy and then Evelyn. Okay. Uh, in my work, eh, I don't have free time. <laughs> really? And what about then, Sundays? No, no. You don't have too uh, much time. Um, the Monday, uh, Friday? No. I don't have free time in my work. And the weekend, eh, sometime the Saturday, um, go okay. to the school. Okay. Um, in my house, eh, I have free time the weekend, and I like drink coffee with my father and my old sister. Mi hermana mayores, no sé, sí. Elder, elder sister. Elder sister. Mayor. Mm -hmm. uh, with um, postre. Ah, dessert. Dessert, uh, yes. Yeah, desserts <laughs> are so, so amazing with cup of <laughs> coffee. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh, with coffee. Mm, delicious. You have, <laughs> yeah, the, and you have talks or conversation when you have talks is you have a, a topic and you talk about it you discuss and or maybe sometimes with your uh, our family we have to update Tenemos que actualizar información. you say okay this is this is happening yes. in my, in my yes. job in my life good for you christy and yes. i like that you spend time with your family that's so important yes thank, thank you. you okay very nice and uh, evelyn what about you and then maritza Hello, Evelyn. I don't know if you're ready. Okay, maybe Evelyn is not ready. No había levantado la mano. Vamos con Maritza entonces. And then Luisa. In, in my free time, I like to order clean and watch movies. Oh, nice. No, nice, Maritza. If you notice, we don't have too much time to order our house or our bedroom, right? Yes. We mm -hmm. accumulate things, si acumulamos cosas. Sí. So, yeah, it is good to, to play some music, listen to music in order and, and take your time, right, to order your space. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I like to do it from time to time. Thank you. And Luisa, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, the weekend, I like to uh, watch TV and movies and go to the shopping and uh, sleep a lot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go shopping is nice. And yeah, take advantage of your time, definitely. Thank you. Okay, Guillermo, please, your turn, my friend. I don't know if you have free time because I know that your schedule is kind of tight as well. Mm, yes, I have a lot of free time hmm. when I was young. Ah, when I, you were young. Yeah. Well, um, I play soccer most of the time, but also I train in polideportivo, uh, Merliot. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say. Eh, era federado de natación. Ah, okay. Yes, you were accredited. So era acreditado by the federation. Ah, yes. really? In swimming. Yeah. So you have, also with you, you had a good level. 
Yeah, and I play also water polo. Oh, water polo, nice. Uh, you need a lot of resistance for that. Yes, I remember that. Uh, um, I don't know how to say this. Pero me ponía a entrenar. Mi hermano me lleva tres años ¿verdad? mayor. Entonces era como que ponía a entrenar con los de la edad de él y le ganaba. Porque era muy, muy rápido nadando. Okay, you have a, a good level in, yes. in water pool. And well, what happened with that level? You still have that level of resistance in swimming, no those because you need a, a lot of energy. <laughs> yes. Sport, because swimming is like lineal, but water pool is you have you need a lot of uh, strength. I mean, I train uh, every day. Oh, good. Okay, so, you're, you're, in, you're in good condition. Uh, nowadays, no, but <laughs> in the past, yes. In the past, you used to, you used to have a good condition. Okay. No, pero igual, creo que sí tengo como mayor resistencia que la gente normal, ¿verdad? Yeah. Creo que porque ya le queda uno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, your body's custom ya se acostumbrado a tu cuerpo in sí, certain correcto. in certain level thank you Guillermo well I didn't know okay. that had that but congratulations I hope you can continue a little bit practicing that or you can well have uh, be back with, with that first time that it is really healthy okay so let's move uh, my friends here we have also some other look at this here we have this read the description of the chocolate products for that chocolate not chocolate chocolate products below and complete the chart with the products specifications and similar to different specifications and products we have a lot of information okay here we have spicy peanut coffee turtle candies Chocolate covered caramel, chocolate dip uh, nougat. Okay, so in this case, the name is basic peanut toffee. Okay, so we can place uh, this type, this information in the chart. Okay, a uh, code, at least this one uh, doesn't have code. Size, okay, maybe we can look if uh, it has it. Si tiene esa información, la ponemos, si no, no. Okay. Because in this case, ingredients, I guess ingredients can be here. Uh, butter, toffee, a roasted peanut, chili, pepper, light red hot chili pepper. Then we have in a weight, que es el peso. Maybe we don't have this information, but definitely we have price. Tenemos el precio, okay? Seven dollars and fifty cents. Okay, we're going to place it here. If you notice, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. I need you to take a look at this. I'm going to give you a couple of uh, seconds, not seconds, maybe minutes, and we're going to complete this. Okay. Select one of these. I recommend you to have at least two. And you raise your hand when you're ready to complete this chart. Okay? Te voy a dar tiempo para que ubiquemos esta información. Thank you, my friends. See you in a moment.
Ay, teacher. Los datos. Por si no me va bien la señal. Okay, who wants to be the first to complete this chart? We're going to be in order. Remember that um, there is a lot of information, but not all of them. Maybe we can have in this time to Guillermo. Yeah, my friend, as always, the first one. Uh, what Okay, the second one, Turtle Candies. Okay, you tell me uh, the category. 
Okay, turtle candies. Mm -hmm. Four size ingredients. Mm, and with size. Okay, size. Let's go. Mm, six pieces. Pieces. Mm -hmm. Thank you. With the ingredients. Okay. And rich. Borgi caramel, mm -hmm. uh, fresh roasted pecans, dark or milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Caramel. And price per unit. And $6 and 30 cents. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And the price, 6 30 Thank you. Maybe Maritza. Number one. Mm hmm. Okay. okay, just give me a second. Okay, number one, spicy peanut toffee, right? Spicy peanut, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what category? Ingredients. Mm-hmm. Butter toffee, mm -hmm. roasted peanuts, and cayenne chili pepper. Oh, okay. Like rojo chili pepper. Roasted peanuts, right? Okay. And let's move the ingredients. Chili pepper. Okay, yeah, that's it. What about the price, right? Price per unit uh, $7.15. Thank you so much. Okay, we have Annalisa. Thank you, Marita. Uh, okay, Luisa. Number three or four, chocolate cover or chocolate dip. Activa el, 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 el audio, please. Okay, chocolate cover is caramel. Y la three. Okay, number three. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, es six. Pieces. Mm -hmm. Six pieces. Uh, okay. Six pieces. Okay. Uh, the ingredients is a uh, chocolate powder and caramel. In caramel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just let me give me a second. Yeah, six pieces. Okay, and you're talking about the price is seven. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the well the the main ingredient is this. Thank you. So much. Any number four, maybe we can have Daniel. Do you have number four? Okay. Um, the chocolate dip dip it. No, that mm -hmm. see. Yep. Okay, gold, no gold. Okay. 
and size, no. No size, right? No size. And ingredients, yeah. The, the combination of honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Okay, nice. Here are the ingredients. Mm. Yes, honey. You mentioned honey. Okay, ingredients. And what about the price? And then the price is seven dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I know we took uh, some time for for this activity, but it's part of the program. So here we have uh, the four spicy peanut turkey, turkey candy, chocolate covered caramels, and chocolate dip nougat. Okay. So thank you, my friends. Let's move now to the other part. Here we have what uh, do you like to do in your free time? We have some of the participants. And I'd like to know your pastime or hobbies. Maybe we can have John and. Gustavo, John, are you ready to talk about your free time activities? Yes. Please. I, I am ready. Let me think. A ver, what do you like to do in your free time? Okay. I always practice basketball with my son. Oh, that's in perfect. My free time. Yes. Um, and sometimes we we also, no sé si correcta esta palabra. Maintenance the garden with my wife. Yeah, ma maintenance. Maintenance the garden. Oh, you, you like plants. You yes, like to. I like. <laughs> um, I use the rest to the rest and practice the guitar. I oh, wow. Guitar. You have very good hobbies, John. Yeah. In different different areas. Did you not? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Yeah, good, complete. I like uh, when you say that you share time with, with, with your son. That's important, okay? Thank you, John. I hope you can continue. Yeah. I know we as an adult, as adults uh, don't have too much time, right? But we have to take advantage of our time. Okay. Um, Evelyn. And then we go with Oscar Daniel, okay, Evelyn? Uh, what's your pastime? I don't know if Evelyn is here. Okay, maybe not by now. Okay, Oscar Daniel, I guess uh, uh, he had difficulties. Okay, teacher. And then Gustavo. Okay, Oscar. Um, uh, in my free time, um, I play soccer or, mm -hmm. or football yes. uh, with my friends. Um, uh, I play video games and I go with my daughter. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, with your daughter. You are taking, you are taking advantage of your time, aprovechando el tiempo. Thank you, Oscar. Good uh, hobbies. Okay, uh, Gustavo. Okay, teacher. And, I, yeah. li I like to go for a uh, walk uh, with my family uh, and listen to music. Uh, Sometimes I travel from from San, San Miguel to Santa Ana to visit my mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, from San Miguel to Santa Ana to visit your mom. Yeah, uh, it is like a, a long distance. No, eh? Santa Ana and San Miguel are not eh, near. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Usually, how much time do you take? Like two hours or three hours traveling? I don't uh, know. Four, four hours. Four hours, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Drive. 
driving yes it, it, it's a lot so yeah uh, thank you so uh, you mentioned something that's kind of particular especially when we have family members in another department and that's something that we need to do yeah that's good thank you okay um now i need i want to well Rivas, I guess. No, no, Rivas was. Daniel, you were in charge of the song, right? Daniel, yeah. Yep. De right? Okay, I don't know if you are ready. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, uh, just but... give me a second. I'm going to. Okay, voy a mandar la al grupo para que usted la ponga ahí. Okay, eh, pero tú pues lo puedes hacer también. Su gusto. Ah, ya lo mandé. Póngale. Oh. <ríe> Póngale y, y ahí le voy a decir. Ok, permítame. Entonces, me vas a dar un momento. Porque es, eh, la voy a descargar, ok. And this is something that I guess it is working. Creo que está funcionando el hecho de que eh, the fact that we are studying grammar uh, through lyrics from songs because uh, we are continuously listening to music. It means that we pay attention to different artists. And yeah, we have like favorite music. Let me check this. Okay. Ok, aunque okay, ahí no vas a poder subrayar, eh, Daniel, but let's see, pero ahí nos comentas, ok, I'm going to present it, teacher, creo que sí puede eh, subrayar, solamente que creo que debe activar usted una, un icono que creo que dice pizarra, me parece para que para que pueda subrayar el compañero vamos a ver uh -huh. vamos a intentar el, el tema de pizarra que dice acá vamos a ver podemos ver vamos a intentar Lo que pasa es que empieza a remesar en blanco. No sé si pudiese copiar esa imagen. La imagen de la letra de la canción. Uh -huh. Esto quiero ver. No. Bueno, entonces lo que voy a hacer es que lo voy a... Simplemente lo voy a poner acá. Creo que aquí sí podrías subrayar. Ya creo que ya lo han hecho. Otras veces. Señor. Okay. Si no, simplemente la, la, lo mencionas, Daniel. Okay. Sí, ok, solo lo va a mencionar. Okay. Ana Cristina ya está rayando, dice. <risa> yeah. No problem. Pero uh, sí se puede, ¿verdad? Ya, ya, ya intentaron, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. Es que hay un, uh, no sé si él lo puede ver en el teléfono. Bueno, yo en el teléfono me sale un lapicito. Eh, inténtalo. Oh, Cristi, lo hiciste, ¿verdad, Cristi? Sí, ah, sí, hay una opción. Sí, sí, hay una opción de, de un lapicito, una ruedita con un lapicito. Toca ese lapicito y él ya puede ir subrayando. La ah, palabra. ok, ok. Pueden uh -huh. hacerlo entonces. Ok, Daniel, puedes mencionarlo si quieres subrayarlo mejor todavía, ¿verdad? Pero si no, pues depende de ti, ok. Lo menciono, es más easy, sí. Oh, ok, go ahead. Sí. Vaya. Eh, the simple pass eh, in the naked light as you and the simple present ten thousand people, maybe more, in the gerundio talking and the adjectives people hearing. And the pronouns, 
people writing and uh, infinity the songs in the y el texto dice bueno no sé si ya alguno dio qué canción eh pero subrayé la última yes. parte porque si no ya iban a saber va yes. it's easy it's very easy really maybe yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. very easy I don't know. Yo creo que yo creo que Juan ha sido DJ en su vida pasada. John, no, yo creo que John trabajó en un, un bar de karaoke. Eso <laughs> en el año pasado. Creo que es The Sound of Silence. Ya, ya, sí, es The Sound of Silence. Cantala, cantala, Juan. Ah, la cante. Me duele bastante la cabeza. People talk with sorry. The... I have a headache. I'm Very so hard. sorry. It's a uh, sound of silence. Yeah. Oh, Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a, a, a very classic song that it has a lot of versions, different versions. Okay. Even it was a meme, incluso era un meme en un video, en video ¿verdad? Y todo eso. Yeah. Fue bien. Fue bien. Uh, for trending for tendencia. So thank you, uh, Daniel. Very nice, very good job because you studied the work. Creo que se llama Grafunkel. Simon and Grafunkel. Creo que son los autores de esta canción. I guess. Uh -huh. Creo, yeah. creo. I guess. Eh, okay. Yo le he escuchado en la versión de Disturbed. Y, oh. y en la lyric, una que suena una guitarra. Okay, nice. Yeah, well, that's another version. Okay, Daniel, thank you. David is not here. Okay, I'm going to thank you, Daniel, for your participation. Guillermo, are you there? Yes, teacher. Could you prepare your song for Monday? For Monday, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because in the in the order we have David and Evelyn, but Evelyn is not here. I guess uh, she disconnects. But uh, you could in the in that order you're the next. So please prepare your song. Yeah, if you notice, we have like a different yeah different stage of the class. So that Guillermo is, is going to. Yeah, y si Evelyn que la sacó de la plataforma y no la deja entrar. De verdad, pero no fui yo. Quizás fue su... O sea, el internet. Sí, pero no hay problema, yo lo preparo. Thank you, uh, Guillermo. So we're going to uh, look for, for that. Remember, as I told you before, we are talking about present, past, or future. Uh, we took into account uh, the the adjectives, adverbs, verbs, articles, and all those. Okay? So that's it. If you identify seven words, it means that uh, we completed the objective. Is that a uh, studying grammar? Okay. Well, um, actually, we're going to check this. Say versus tell. Okay. I recommend you to have a screenshot and send it to WhatsApp. Le recomiendo que eh, le tomen captura a esto y lo envíen a WhatsApp. Ya voy a ponerle otra imagen para que también lo hagan. ¿Ok? Okay, now that we have this, I'm going to present the other. 
very important for the next activity that we're going to have. Say and tell are like synonyms. Say means decir. Tell means contar, but not contar from numbers. We can say tell about one, two, three, four, five. Eso se le llama count, contar. Tell es cuando se dice algo, pero el verbo en español eh, se asemeja a contar. Cuenta una historia, cuenta una anécdota, y así sucesivamente. Okay? So now we, that we have this, uh, the two types of information, we start with this. Say versus tell. You say something to someone, okay? And maybe we can have this, Maritza, please. Could you read? I'm sorry, I'm going to put it like this. Tú dices algo a alguien. Okay, Maritza, can you read the, those sentences, please? Richard says he has a new car. Okay. Mary says I'm tired to his father. Michael said he was tired. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, Maritza. Now, you tell someone something. Tú le cuentas a alguien algo. Fíjense la diferencia. You say something to someone and the other is you tell someone something. Se traduciría a esta manera. Tú le dices algo a alguien y la otra sería tú le cuentas a alguien algo. I know it's kind of confusing, but you're going to get it. Um, maybe you can have like this. Gustavo, could you read this? Richard okay, told me. Uh, Richard told me he has a new car. Okay. Mary told his father I uh, hungry. Michael told Richard that that the, he was tired. He was tired. Thank you. Exception. Aquí tenemos la excepción. Tell story, tell joke, tell lie, tell true. For example. Mary tells nine stories. Uh, I told a joke. He told a lie. I always tell the truth. Entonces, cuando vamos a utilizar tell, siempre para contar una historia. Ejemplo. Tell story, contar una historia. Tell a joke, contar un chiste. Tell a lie, contar una mentira. O tell the truth, contar la verdad. Entonces, eso es como que ya casi de regla que se dice tell. Por eso cuando alguien le dice tell me the truth, cuéntame la verdad. Ok. And let's continue with the other uh, flashcard that we have here related to tell and say. Ok. Say versus tell. You say something to someone, you tell someone something similar, ¿verdad? En este caso podemos tener a Daniel, please. Uh, the first part, oh. Helen said. Then, Helen said, I love you to hear that. Mm -hmm. Ra says he has a new job. Mm -hmm. I, I say said. that I was sorry. Thank you. Okay, and now let's go with tell someone to something. Uh, Guillermo, could you help me please? I don't know if Guillermo is available. If Guillermo is not there, maybe we can have Rivas. Helen told her dad. Could you help me, Rivas, please? Helen told her dad that she loved him. Ralph told me that he has a new job. I told Yuki that I was sorry. That's correct. So, basically, we have... Um, these examples and we're going to practice with a worksheet that we have here. Okay, in this we have just uh, from one to 10. 
Yeah, very simple. We have two, okay? So uh, we're going to practice this. A uh, number from one to 10, we have some exercises and we're going to practice them, okay? So maybe we can have this practice uh, right now. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos para que veamos cuáles son. Cada uno de ustedes me van a decir al menos dos o tres. Two or three exercises. So please uh, take a look at this because we have two slides. Tenemos dos o do, dos. Eh, pues worksheets dos hojas de trabajo le doy un par de segundos para que vean y luego continuamos Ok, los interrumpo solo para darles una clave. Cuando decimos tell, normalmente, fíjense bien, después de told o tell, siempre va un, un, un objeto, por ejemplo, objeto directo, por ejemplo, me, eh, his father told Richard. Ok, eh, es como que a alguien le están contando. Vamos al siguiente ejemplo de tell. Mira aquí, Helen says, Helen says, Helen dijo, yo te amo. Rar dijo, él tiene un nuevo trabajo. Yo dije que hay, cuando lleva el dad, normalmente es say, ¿ok? Ahora, el tell, miren, Helen told her dad. Rar told me. Cuando va me, normalmente es tell o told. Told es el pasado de tell, ¿verdad? I told Yuki. Es como que yo diga, I tell Maritza to practice. Entonces, para que tengan una idea, ¿ok? par de segundos y continuamos con estos ejercicios.
Okay, let's see what are your opinions about this. Um, about say and tell. Volunteers? If not, I can choose. Remember, we have we have just two options, say or tell. Daniel and Rosalie. The number 10. Okay, let's go with number 10. Anna always says the truth. She never lies. Perfect. A perfect use of third person. Estás utilizando bien la tercera persona. Okay. Says. Mm -hmm. okay, the says. Yeah, Anna always says the truth. Okay, Rosalie and Guillermo. And the number, number six. Mm -hmm. Tell me what he said to you, please. Yeah. De hecho, hay una canción, Rosalie, the, the, the Buster Boys, a song from Buster Boys, that is Tell Me Why. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, very famous. I want famous. it that way. <laughs> I want it that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want it that way. So tell me, and in that song, yeah, they are playing the verb tell. Yeah, thank you. Eh, bien de la poder. Guillermo, please. And then we go with Rivas. Okay, number five. How can you tell that? Okay. How can you tell that? Aunque también se puede decir, how can you say that? ¿Cómo puede decir eso? Yeah, tell can be understood, but say could be like uh, suitable. Okay, Rivas and Andre. Number two, teacher, can you tell me where the post office is, please? Yeah, of course it is. Thank you. Andre and then John. What did he say is you? Mm, casi. Estado? Tell you. Yeah. Cuando va, hay, hay un pronombre o object pronouns como tell me, tell you. Siempre va el tell. Okay. Uh, mm, thank okay. you. Thank you. Uh, John, maybe if he's ready and Luisa. Okay. Let me see. Um... Harry, Harry always um, tells me about his day at work. Yeah, third person tells me. Yeah, perfect. Okay, Luisa, and after Luisa, we go with Maritza. Creo que no ha pasado. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, sería Ed Seven, Janet Sai. Mm -hmm. uh, the book is hers. Okay, yeah. Janet uh, says, uh, Janet dice que el libro de ella. Dice ella, says. Okay, yes. Maritza. Yeah. Eh, aunque se escriba says, se pronuncia says. Pero cuando se dice mm -hmm. normalmente sin que fuera tercera persona, se dice say, I say. Okay, como la canción Say You, Say Me. Pero ese es un, otro uso diferente. Um, Maritza, please. And then we go with South. Number three. Mm -hmm. What did he say to you? Yeah, say to you. Si fuera solo you, sería tell, ¿verdad? Pero que say to you. Thank you. Uh, Gustavo, and then we go with Oscar Daniel. Okay, teacher. Uh, number nine. Mm -hmm. uh, don't. Uh, tell Carol about the the party. Yeah. Tell because that's a uh, an object pronoun. El, el objeto, el object pronoun is Carol. Es como fuera her. Don't tell her or don't tell Carol about the party. Uh, Oscar Daniel, could you help me please with number eight? Okay, teacher. Uh, they say that yeah. it's too hot there in summer. In summer, definitely it is. Thank you. 
si se dan cuenta, cuando lleva el that, normalmente es say. Ese es otro, otro patrón. That's another pattern. Thank you. And we continue because we have more exercises. So you have more opportunities to practice uh, these uh, different uh, verbs. Say and tell. Here we have this. I'm going to give a couple of seconds. I'm doing a couple of seconds. Y luego, pues, continuamos. We continue practicing. Okay, let's see. What do you think? Uh, do we have volunteers for this? We have some other 10 uh, exercises. Daniel, do you want to be the first? Please uh, tell me what number. Hello, Daniel. I can hear you, my friend. The number five. Sorry. Uh -huh, the bank. Why the bank told me that told me that I couldn't borrow the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bank told me. Me dijo que no puedo prestar dinero. Thank you, Guillermo. Please. In number nine, Gray Hi. says that she missed the bus because she got up late. Definitely, it is true. Yeah, Gray says good. And we can have some other participations. For example, Oscar Daniel. If Oscar, yeah, can you please? Yes, yes, yes teacher. Okay. Um, number three. Number three. Uh, Penny, tell me all about her holiday. Okay, tells me. Yeah, definitely it is. Thank you. Okay, we go now with Maritza and then Gustavo. Okay, Maritza. Number two. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, say that the, he didn't want to go to work. Yeah, thank you. Gustavo and then Rivas. Okay, okay, teacher. The number seven. Mm -hmm. She she says she she like uh, Terry a lot. 
Carry a lot, thank you. Okay, that's it. Uh, we go with Rivas and Rosalie. Number four, teacher, Billy and Carrie tell her not to visit them. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Rosalie, and then we go with Luisa. Number six. I say that it meet him at two o'clock. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Luisa, and then we go with John. Okay, ten days. Says Ruth that Joe was uh, already Phyllis. Phyllis. Okay, aunque aquí podría ser told. Oh, porque como okay. le contaron a Ruth. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, John, I don't know if you're ready or Andre. Okay, John. Number One eight. or eight. Number eight. Okay, I'll try. Uh, Tony was it? So he um told the class to go home early. Mm -hmm. The class. Yeah. Thank you. And Maybe we can have Andre, number okay. one. Uh, the teacher told us hmm? to the finish page seven for homework. Yeah, thank you. Good one. Okay, my friend, you did it really nice. No problem with say versus tell. You already know the difference. And I guess it is like very clear. Okay, let's move here. Teacher, para una consulta. Puede explicar otra vez el tol. No me quedó claro, por favor. Okay, el tol básicamente es el pasado. Por ejemplo, en el número uno, tell it's an irregular verb. Es un verbo irregular. Okay, igual que say. El pasado de tell es told. Y el pasado de say es said. Se dice said como yo tengo said de tomar agua, ¿ok? So, tell es como told. So, lo que pasó es say, said. En este caso, con el número uno, ¿verdad? The teacher uh, told us. El teacher nos dijo, nos contó. Que terminamos la página 7 para el trabajo, ¿ok? Eh, aquí tenemos Penny. Podría ser tells me. Uh -huh. Aquí es tell. Si captas eso, eh, eh, Gustavo, ¿verdad? Esa es la sí, diferencia. Sí, sí, teacher. Sí, teacher. Son ambos, both of them are irregular verbs. Okay. So, yeah. That's part of it. Thank you. But now we have cleared that. Thank you. Okay. Talk about benefits of social media. Could, could you mention one benefit at least? Or two benefits depends on you. Uh, maybe we can start in this case with Maritza and then Rivas. Okay, Maritza, do you have any benefits? Have you perceived any benefits from social media that you can share to the class? Mm, yes, uh, improves communication with people who are far away. Okay. Do you have people who are far away? Yes. One friend. One friend. So you can have communication with that person if he or she yes. is uh, from another country, right? Yes. In okay. The okay. Yeah. Ah, remesas. Dollars. No. Good, Maritza. Nice. No. Kidding. No, son bromas, Maritza. But it is good that maybe you can have, you can be face to face, but you can update, pueden actualizarse, pueden contarse muchas cosas. Thank you, Maritza. Nice. Yes. And we go with Rivas and Rosalie. Okay, teacher, it helps to socialize more and that the information arise quickly. Yeah, you can update. And one example is from different type of news, cualquier noticia. You can update, 
Yeah, and that's one example. We have like different examples of how you can update information in a couple, in a matter of seconds. Thank you, Rivas. Uh, we can have Rosalie and then we go with Gustavo. Okay, teacher. And one oh, uh -huh. is the faster communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And other benefit to social media is finding something to buy okay. and sell without. Um, Leave home, since I the casa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of them are benefits. Uh, easy information to get this information and fast. Mm -hmm. And the others that you mentioned. Thank you. Uh, we go with Gustavo and Guillermo. Okay, okay, teacher. Uh, benefits of social, in my opinion. Uh, are very important to communication uh, to new uh, it's very important yeah for example talking about news uh, second noticias if it is raining a lot you can notice if there are accidents if uh, there are some floods inundaciones yeah, it is like yeah. very fast. Mm -hmm. You can now. Thank you, Gustavo. Eh, Guillermo mm -hmm. and Daniel. Okay, teacher. I think one of the benefits of social media is the capacity to, to, to bring uh, new customers and uh, mm -hmm. new employees. If you want to give information about everything that you want, you can do it with the social media, but you have to uh, pay for that. A lot mm, of you have to pay. You have to pay for that. But as you mentioned before, you can get a lot of information. One, uh, you said different benefits, but one of them that maybe calls my attention is that, for example, for um, jobs, for new employees, hiring. Um, I remember that in the past, uh, there were some classificados on newspaper. Yeah. So there were some offers, job offers. You have to wait until the next day to buy the newspaper, a call to that number, and send your resume or present to that uh, a company. But now, uh, there are different offers on social media. So it is really, really different and easier. And the other example that you mentioned as well, Guillermo. Thank you. Yeah. Good point. Uh, Daniel and John. Okay. The benefits of social media is information and communication in many inaccessible places. Mm -hmm. Maybe in some places from the countryside, there's no Wi-Fi, but you can have credit uh, uh, internet. You have data, tiene los datos móviles. So you, you can have access from different type of information, even if you are far away. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, John and Oscar Daniel. Okay. I think that um, being in communicator with the family, mm -hmm. um, more more sources of employment, mm -hmm. and a little a little more entertainment. I think. Okay, good. Um, I remember that maybe ten or twenty years ago when. People used to go to the United States and just for phone calls. You can be contacted from phone calls. And before there were uh, different companies from telecommunication, there was Antel. I don't know if you remember Antel. And not everybody had telephone at home. Yeah. So you had to, to visit that institution to look for uh, 
telephone and yeah, to call to a person. Now, as you mentioned, it is quite different. Thank you, John. Okay. Nice advantages. Oscar, Daniel, and Luisa, if they are ready. Okay, maybe Oscar is not ready. Uh, Luisa, and after Luisa, we're going to listen to Rosalie. Ah, no, Rosalie is too. Okay, Luisa. If not, Luisa, Andre. Or Rivas. Okay, let's listen to Rivas because the other uh, people, they're not available. Mm, Christy, I guess she disconnected because of the data. Katia as well. Okay, I guess we have some difficulties. Well, and just to finish, uh, tell you that tomorrow at 8 a.m., I'm going to. Okay, Rosalie. Sí que um, problemas. Teacher. Hola, Luisa. Hello. Sorry, eh, iba a decir yo, pero está, está lloviendo el resto. Sí, me imagino. Eh, también Rosalie eh, me dice que está lloviendo bastante fuerte. Entonces, eh, sí, ya vamos a terminar la clase, solo déjenme comentarles quién se quedaría. Pero voy a decir lo mío. Adelante, please. Thank you. Okay. There are very important because today there is her either to study and it is uh, essential in the world or socialism. Mm -hmm. That's... Uh... That's nice. Yeah, we have like different types of approaches, uh, muchos acercamientos. And that's it uh, for socializing. Okay. Thank you. Let me check something. Bien, creo que la mayoría tiene dificultades con el tema del, de la señal. Así que vamos a, pues, a finalizar la, la, la clase. Solo se queda Daniel. Daniel, ¿puedes escucharme? Joe. Sí, sí, sí. Yo. Ok, ok, te quedas con la sesión. El resto, recuerden, este, pues, finalizar la unidad 1 mañana a las 8 de la mañana. Le voy a dar la última revisada. Ahora lo voy a hacer, ¿verdad? Voy a este, actualizar las calificaciones, pero el día de mañana hasta las 8. Espero que ya lo tengan terminado para poder estar al día con el cuadro de nota, ¿verdad? Así que eso sería todo. Necesito que me dejen, como siempre, el thumb up, el pulgar a, arriba, ¿verdad? Como siempre cuando ya se nos... Eh, así como Guillermo, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Necesito el thumb up y a través de eso yo paso lista. Eh, yo verifico eh, quienes han estado acá y pues actualizo la lista de asistencia, ¿verdad? Entonces es una manera bastante práctica cuando ya se nos acaba el tiempo. Así que nos vemos el lunes, ¿ok? So, Guillermo va a presentar la canción en Tío on Monday. Lo veo el lunes entonces. Se nos cuidan. Have a good weekend. Sure. Good de See you, teacher. See you, my friends. Good night. Bye -bye. Good, good night, night everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, Daniel. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, my friends. See you. Okay, Daniel. Um... ¿Cómo se con el tema de la plataforma? ¿Todo bien? ¿Has podido ingresar? Por el momento no he hecho la, la tarea, pero al, al terminarla voy a, la, voy a empezar a hacer. Ah, la, la completarías, ¿verdad? Y todo. Okay. Sí, ya lo voy a hacer. Sí. Eh, eh, 
Con respecto Dime. a lo que estuve hablando ahora, eh, no, de la manera que lo vi yo fue que el 6 es como que yo lo estoy diciendo y el tal es como que yo le cuento a alguien que Es dijo correcto. a la demás persona. Es correcto, sí. Y Así ahí, es. y ahí el 6, eh, bueno, es para pasado y el talk pasado del de me contó. Así es. Ejemplo. Cuando le contas directamente a alguien, por ejemplo, my boss told me to finish the report. Entonces, ahí te está diciendo, mi jefe me dijo, o sea, cuando es el tell, es como más directo. Es como directo a una persona. Uh -huh. O sea, directamente, my boss told me to finish the report. Pero cuando dice say or says, por ejemplo, my boss says that we en este caso digamos que tu equipo de trabajo son de cinco personas entonces si tu jefe te dice Daniel finish the report tú puedes decir ah my boss told me to finish the report o sea el jefe te dijo a vos directamente que terminara el reporte pero si él dice My boss says that we finish the report. Eh, se refiere a que mi jefe dice que terminemos el reporte, pero no es de una manera directa. No te lo está diciendo a ti, sino que lo dijo generalizando. Entonces, la clave es que cuando utilizamos el tell, normalmente lleva tell me, tell you, y sucesivamente. Cuando utilizamos el say, normalmente lleva la palabra that. Esas son patterns, son patrones que podemos identificar para el momento de ubicar las palabras y que gramaticalmente estén correctos. Entonces, tell you, tell me, lleva el object noun, que es el me, el you, ¿verdad? En cambio, el say lleva el that. Normalmente puede ser este. My boss says. Esto se le llama citar. Cuando citamos, estamos diciendo literalmente lo que esa persona dijo en un libro, en una película o, o así en vivo. Por ejemplo, mi jefe dijo, terminen el reporte. Entonces tú, por eso utilizas las comillas. Cuando vas a citar algún libro, algo, alguna frase, utilizas comillas, ¿verdad? Porque estás citando. Uh -huh. Entonces, básicamente sería eso, Daniel, pero sí, lo captaste, captaste la idea, ¿verdad? Sí, uh, sí. Self versus say, pero es un tanto confuso, porque son, tienen un significado bastante similar. Sí. Así que eso, con lo demás, ¿cómo estás, este, Daniel? ¿Con Por los otros menos, temas? Sí, estamos bien, creo. <risas> sí, has notado que ahora estamos viendo eh, vocabulario un poquito más técnico. Sí. Hay palabras un poquito más, ajá, como nuevas, ¿verdad? Todo eso, ajá, así que eso nada más, pero eh, con el tema de gramática y estructura creo que estás bastante bien, así que no habría mayor problema. Uh -huh. Así que eso te sugiero que este, intentes no atrasarte mucho por, por la carga laboral que tú tienes, ¿verdad? Y le estaría confirmando acerca la, de la suspensión de clases de la otra semana. Porque normalmente Insafor eh, se basa en la sede central. ¿Okay? Pero normalmente el lunes estaríamos en clase. El lunes, vamos a estar en clase. El, el, lunes, el lunes sí tendríamos clase, los otros días seguramente no, pero les voy a confirmar. Y también eh, el personal de Insafor son los que envían esa información. Ellos se encargan pues, eh, de, de informar a todos los participantes a través del grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Ok, Daniel? Ok, okay. excelente. Así que te dejo para que empieces a trabajar en la plataforma, ok. Eh, okay mañana gracias. reviso tu, tu avance, ok. Pasa feliz noche. Have a good Buenas night. Buenas noches. Thank bye you. Bye bye.